All right, what I thought I would do is a uh, frequency sweep uh, with my analyzer, uh, my MFJ269. Uh, frequency sweep on my G5RV for cut for 80, 80 meters. I think the total length is 102 in inches uh, across the whole um, antenna. Uh, it's fed with, uh, I think, about 30 feet of ladder line, and I do have a homemade uh, current choke, um, ugly balloon, whatever you want to call it. Um, so surprisingly, it actually, at its the lowest frequency I can put into this, 1.7 uh, megahertz, I get about a five uh, SWR reading. Uh, this is uh, the SWR up here, um, megahertz resistance. So uh, I'm going to do a sweep up here, go up to 1.8, 1.9, it's still under 10. With the, the tuner I have, the MFJ998, it does tune it. So I mean, that's almost up to, it's up to 3, and then once it gets to the cut portion of it, it jumps down. So there you go right there, you just start to jump down to two. And then now she starts coming back in around 50 ohms, uh, 1.5 SWR. And she'll jump back and forth as you go up the band. Um, so we'll go up to four. All right, now I'm gonna switch it over to, um, let's see, four to 10 megahertz. So it'll start in a 10, we're going the other way. Still not that bad, not that bad. Still doing, this is not without a tuner. This is just hooked directly to the antenna. And uh, oh, see there's a, it's getting up there now. You know, four megahertz, I mean, it has its dips. Let's try, uh, let's see, 10 to 27. So 3.8, 10. 11, 12, still 2.0, 2.1. Now this is where the, uh, this is around the area that the antenna really kind of likes to operate. It's pretty good. As you can see is the, uh, the ohms. It's amazing how much it jumps around, uh, you know, between a few, uh, you know, kilohertz back and forth. And when you do sweeps on these uh, antennas, it's just amazing. I mean, you could plot this out, but uh, there already are charts online. I just wanted to see what mine was doing because uh, I was having some difficulties tuning my amplifier down on uh, uh, 75, and I was just curious to see if the analyzer was seeing anything that uh, seeing anything wrong. But it's not, it, it, it looks okay. It's still under 10. I think my tuner will tune anything under 10. Um, let's see, let's go back up to 27. Oh, 27, okay, we are there. Yeah, so this is, you know, the chicken band region. Let's see if we can get to uh, 28, 70, yeah. Uh, well, it's not going to work up there, but this is the top end of the antenna. Is, uh, 10 meters and it doesn't really work all that well there but she does tune there we go she tunes there and it's not a bad match 50 ohms 40 ohms yeah a little little uh, inconsistency here with the meter versus the LCD Bring it up to here, but still fully tunable. You know, you, I mean, these these are these antennas are meant to be hooked up to a tuner. So let's just just for laughs. Let's see what happens when we bring it up higher than 30. You know, it's probably it would probably tune it. It just. Uh, probably wouldn't perform very well. 
when you get up to about, let's see. Oh, there's a dip right there. You know, that's... We're up in the six meter band now right here, and it's still not all that bad. But I'm sure the sacrifices in the... Uh, and how well it'll perform. But it's still amazing to see that, you know, just a, um, a G5 RV, you know, just uh, running down the, uh, doing a frequency sweep like this and just getting a good idea of where your dips are. So I think, I could be wrong, but uh, maybe where I was tuning my amplifier where the dips are, I may be having issues, I'm not sure. So I'm going to have to take the, the, my notes down and find out where the dips are on all the bands that I'm operating on and uh, see if it can, uh, coincides with uh, my amplifier tuning issue. Because I mean everything's checking out okay, as I would expect. So I am going to change my current trap, or I'm not trap, excuse me, my current choke. Uh, out at the feed point of this antenna because I'm, it was just kind of a uh, get up and running type of thing and uh, it wasn't very permanent so but, uh, let's see if I bring let's see go back down to here go back to around where I was having issues you know this is the longest length of the antenna it's probably cut around somewhere around here you know, there's a dip, so that's probably the end of the antenna. I'm not sure. I have to do the math on that, but uh, I was having issues. I think at three point three point. Well, where was it? Three point. Um, see, I don't even remember now. Point eight maybe. It does start to get a little high in resistance at up in the higher end of the 75 meters. So maybe this could be a problem. I don't know. So if anybody out there has a G5RV running a uh, Maritron or any other amplifier that's producing 600 plus watts and have an issue tuning on their G5RV, any comments would should be. Uh, any comments will be appreciated. So, uh, just a little bit more testing here, and uh, by finding out, I will post it. Alright, have a great day.